Hey y'all, it's Brittany with Eating Elephants. I have been gone for 5,000 years. I'm not even gonna go into a ramble about that because I, I have the tendency to do that, but I'm back. I am also the biggest I've ever been in my life. Okay, that's not true. I had got to the biggest I'd ever been in my life a couple months ago and I lost a little bit of weight since then. So the biggest I have ever been is 298 and that's what I was a couple of months ago. I am five foot one, so that's like a normal height person being like probably like 375, 400 pounds. Like my BMI is huge, okay? So um, it's it's not good. I'm in I'm in pain. Um, I'm the if I wasn't maybe I wouldn't care so much, but I am. I'm in pain, and it's hard for me to find clothes because I'm this big, but also I'm so short. And it's just, there's just a lot of things, a lot of things that are difficult <clears throat> because of how big I am. And I'm having some exacerbate, exa some worse <laughs> PCOS symptoms than I usually have. So, um, and I'm not going to say that's because of the weight gain, but I think the weight gain um, is an indication that my hormonal health isn't all that good. Um, it, it's not because I have PCOS, but I think it's worse than it had been before because usually I wouldn't go over 268. It was like 268 for years. I would not get any bigger. Okay. And then I would lose some weight and then I would go back up to 268. Usually I wouldn't get too much bigger than that. But the fact that I went all the way up to 298, that's 30 pounds over what I thought was like my body's max. Um, is an indication to me I think first of all I'm getting older okay I'm 27 27 is not old it's very 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 young but it's going from being like a young adult to more like just an adult adult so my hormones may be indicating that and I've had two children breastfed for 5,000 years all of that so I think my hormones have shifted some all that to say I just said I wasn't gonna ramble I'm gonna do a fast okay I have tried so many fasts. I've done some successful ones off camera, but very few of them. Um, I've done intermittent fasting and I've done keto off camera. Very, not very successful for short amounts of time. And I've done some mental work um, off camera. I have come to try to accept myself because I thought maybe uh, maybe I have some self-sabotaging going on because I don't accept myself the way I am. So maybe God, I believe in God, maybe God wants me to accept myself before he will allow me to change possibly. I don't know. I started thinking that for a while. I just, I don't know what the hell is going on with my life and my weight and all of that. But I do have an announcement I'm autistic okay I haven't told you guys that yet I have been diagnosed with autism and I'll go into that more in depth in another video I promise you guys I will make that video okay because that's an important one but um, a lot of the things going on in like my general life um, that are frustrating are kind of because of that but as far as my body and my weight and everything and my in a inability to stick to a weight loss regimen for even five freaking seconds <laughs> It's frustrating and I know I have a food addiction I know it I know I do I know it I know it I know it I'm addicted to food because I'm not hungry right now I just really really want to eat like I just fix I'm about to go get my kids from school I just fix them their their little small dinner because actually their school feeds them three meals a day so they've had dinner but I feel like I can't just bring them home and not offer them something so I make them a little small dinner and I just fix those plates so that when we get home, they can just go ahead and eat and then I'll toss them in the shower and hold them down and stuff. But um, that was so hard. That was so hard. And I am not hungry, okay? I actually tried Phenamine several months back and I got off of it because it was the heat of summer. It was actually almost a year ago now. It was the heat of summer and I had my son's, uh, Ricky is his name. I had his, uh, I had Ricky's, birthday party at the zoo and it was like the hottest day of the freaking year it was like over a hundred it was like a hundred 101 it was really hot and um the phenamine apparently affects your heart your your circulatory your or your um cardiovascular system and the heat plus the phenamine was almost made me pass out so i actually got off of it after that um and but i still had the pills so i actually took one of those to help me get through to, through this day one 
Um, so hopefully that will help. Um, but I don't freaking know. I am not optimistic. I'm trying to make it simple, I'm trying to make it easy. I'm trying not to just do all kind of craziness. I'm actually being very lenient with myself for this fast. I'm not going to tell you guys how long I want to go. We're going to see how long I go. I have a number in my head. I have three different numbers in my head um, that I want to meet. But I don't know if I'm going to meet any of them. I don't know. Uh, no promises here. But I will post this video no matter what happens, I think. I want to keep showing y'all my ups and downs. So anyway, I didn't even tell y'all how much I weigh now. I weigh 289.4. So I am about nine pounds down from my highest weight. The way I got down was through some intermittent fasting and some low carb, not keto. Um, and that was over like a couple of weeks and I lost, I got down to about maybe my lowest for this round of weight loss was maybe like 280. From 298 I lose weight pretty quickly that first couple of weeks with intermittent fasting and and with regular prolonged fasting I lose weight but it's so hard for me to maintain and I don't lose weight that quickly for very long so all that to say I'm starting another fast I want to go a pretty long time my goal is lofty all three of the goals are lofty if I could just make it to the first one I would be a ecstatic if i make it to the second one i'd be like holy shit and if i made it to the third one like i would be down a ton of weight if i did but we'll see what happens um oh like i said i'm trying to be very simple um and not hard on myself this time so i'm having coffee i had coffee earlier um and i did have some um creamer in it that is actually made with coconut oil it's um there's no there's a few calories um i use as little as possible of it there's a few calories and there's a little bit of um flavoring in it um i believe the flavoring is from extracts so those will be no calories um and uh i've, I've allowed myself that and with um, monk fruit sweetener um so monk fruit sweetener is made from monk fruit and then they add erythritol to it so it's it's um natural stuff but it's no calories and no real sugar so i'm allowing myself that um there is a little bit of a um insulin spike with it there's no blood sugar spike but there is a little bit of an insulin spike with erythritol but you know what i would rather longevity than purity okay so i'm trying to be and by that i mean i would rather do a long fast that's kind of a dirty fast than only make it 15 fucking hours <laughs> because i'm trying to be a purist okay so uh yes that's what i'm doing i also have been chewing gum i'm gonna try not to chew gum the whole time because when i get gum when i chew gum i end up getting like the white tongue i don't know what the deal is with that and i know already with fasting i'm gonna get the white tongue i do every time so i don't want to make the white tongue worse than it has to be so i'm gonna try to when i finish the gum that i have i'm gonna try to not get any more I have talked for way too long, but I'm going to try to do this fast, y'all. I have, I have freaking, I'm 24 hours in, by the way. I have struggled with this weight loss stuff. I have cried. I have tried so many things. I have just, I am, I am, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated with everything. I'm frustrated with the whole process. I'm frustrated with PCOS. I'm frustrated with the fact that other people can just cut back on soda and and and, and just soda. Maybe just soda. They give up soda and they lose like 30 pounds over a couple of months. And it's like, what the hell? I can give up everything and not anyway anyway let me stop let me not go down that road don't go down that road anyway others can make small changes and have a lot of results and then be a lasting result whereas i have pcos so i if i'm not extremely consistent with what i'm doing i'm going to gain the weight back because let me tell you i have been really consistent for a couple of months before but as soon as i let up I am gaining weight back and by let up I mean go back to eating like normal not like not a binge not 
super grossly overeating just pretty normal eating and even my husband my husband will tell anyone I do not eat that much and I thought maybe I was I was gaslighting myself not gaslighting myself I thought maybe I was in denial that's what it is I thought maybe I was in denial and I really do eat a lot more than I think I do because I think that's that's common with morbidly obese people but my husband has confirmed to me that I really don't eat that much and I eat way less than he does so it's PCOS is what the frick it is and I'm not saying I don't overeat I absolutely do but I should not be almost 300 freaking pounds I shouldn't okay I don't eat enough to be this weight it is freaking PCOS and that's what's so frustrating and I have lost weight before I have lost up to about 40 pounds on my own I've lost about 60 or 70 from being pregnant because while I'm pregnant my PCOS symptoms go away so I drop all that weight even though I'm pregnant I drop tons of weight when I'm pregnant so between my two pregnancies I lost 30 35 pounds with each pregnancy so I lost weight that way gained it all back um, once the kids were older and they weren't breastfeeding as much so but I have lost weight myself about 40 30 or 40 pounds myself just really really working hard and as soon as I let up just a little bit I gain it back so quick so quick and it, it's like I have to do these extreme things like fasting like keto like extreme like the the intermittent fasting like um like 20 hours 22 hours 23 hours a day just to not gain not only to lose weight but also to not gain it back and I and I even started to consider weight loss surgery and I don't want to do that I don't want to do it I don't want elective surgery I really don't surgery comes with risks don't get me wrong it's it's an amazing procedure but surgery comes with risks and I have two children who, if I died, would go to my ex-husband, and we don't want that to happen. So maybe late, if I don't lose weight while I'm young, maybe later when my kids are older and I'm older, <laughs> I can get weight loss surgery if I don't end up losing the weight. But I don't want to do that now. I don't want to take the risk now. I am just rambling. This is just going to be a video on its own. I thought it was going to be a video for the whole fast. I'm just going to post this as it is. It's just a rant, I guess. But... I'm really frustrated. I um So it may seem like I said some contradictory things because I did say I don't eat um as much as it would seem that I do for how big I am. But then also I said I do struggle with food addiction. Now when I say I struggle with food addiction, it means that I it's hard for me to to, to deprive myself very long. And when I do, it kind of backfires and I'll binge for a while. Um because I just missed food I guess so it's not the quantity um, that I eat it's like I it's like when I try to um, when I try to cut back when I do keto especially when I do keto and when I do um, a prolonged fast or when I do um, like 20 hours of eating tw or, or, I mean sorry 20 to 22 hours of fasting and then one meal a day if if I come off of that and do like a um, and just like let let off of it for a while I'm like there's all these different things that I want so all these things that I was craving while I was doing it I, I want them all like and I'll remember like I was craving black bean noodles black bean noodles are a big one I like black bean noodles or I was craving freaking I don't know even just regular foods that I cook like meals that I cook or I was craving um Asian food Asian I love Asian food or I was it just craving ice cream I don't know I was craving some cereal I'll, it'll be all these things that I was craving during the fast and I'll have them all and not a whole lot of them all but over the next like week maybe I'll have all those foods that I missed while I was fasting and so it's it's just difficult so it's not that I, I have a food addiction so I'm like gorging food all the time that's not really the case for me it's that it's hard for me to get off of things that I like a lot because I have an emotional attachment to them is really what it is I use food to cope so another update I have a job I I'm a case manager um, I've had some jobs that I really should update y'all on but anyway I'm gonna try not to do all that today but right now I'm working for the Houston Food Bank as a case manager um, for a new program I'm working with um, 
with um, all my clients are in jail now and as they come out of jail I'll help them to settle back into society and we're doing um, job training I'm well I'm doing job training with them to help them to um, secure employment so that's what I'm doing um, and I, I have the flexibility to work from home a lot of the time so that's why I'm taking advantage of that right now and trying to do a fast because I can but I am going on a business trip that later on this week so that kind of sucks it's gonna suck to um to go out of town and not be able to go to some restaurants and everything or maybe it's good that I'm fasting because I may have really overdone it if I wasn't so anyway I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to this <laughs> to, to later on in the week <laughs> my goodness uh y'all I'm really big like you see my auntie arms and everything and it's not even the 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 the, phys the look it's not even the aesthetic like I'm so uncomfortable my feet hurt my back hurts I just when I laying in bed hurts did you hear what I said laying in bed hurts that should be the one thing that doesn't hurt Let that sink in. Like, because I'm not trying to be on no self-hate stuff and I'm not trying to be on no fat phobia stuff. My my view of myself and of being fat has changed a lot. I'm cool with if I'm going to be fat the rest of my life. I just cannot be this fat. I cannot be, like, way past morbidly obese. I'm 5... Did I say I'm 5'2"? I'm 5'1". <laughs> I claim 5'2 whenever I'm having a little ego moment. But I'm 5'1", and I, and, and I am 289.4 pounds right now. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. I could, I could, could I? Yes, I could easily, easily cut my weight in half. And you know what? By the medical chart, I'd still be overweight. But um, at that size. And so I could cut my weight in half and still be a decent sized person that doesn't look sick or anything. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I'm so big. And I've tried metformin before that did not really help with the weight loss part. Um, so I didn't want to take it anymore because it made my stomach hurt. I've tried it two different times in my life. <laughs> that looks funny on camera. I'm going to try... We're going to see. Um, my longest fast was six days. I did two six-day fasts in a row. I have those videos on my channel. Um, I was trying for 21 days. It did not work out. I broke after six. And then I had a, <laughs> a bad meal. I had pasta, pizza and pasta. And then I jumped right back into another fast after that meal and did another six days. So um, that was two years ago now. Um, so hopefully I can at least get a personal best, at least get a personal best, but that's not goal number one though. Goal number one is still pretty lofty. I would like to lose significant amounts of weight, um, in April and May. I just want to be more comfortable and I want my head to not be a square. And I said, it's not about aesthetics, so I should stop that because that's not healthy. It's not healthy. <laughs> And body image issues make me want to binge, make me want to eat. So, um, well, maybe not binge, but make me want to go to my comfort foods. So I need to stop uh, commenting on my appearance, and especially in front of the kids. Because actually, I asked, I asked my son, um, just to see what he would say, I asked him if I'm fat this morning. And he said, yeah. And I'm like, okay. And I said, are you fat? And he said, yeah, which he's not. And I'm like, uh, no, you're not. And he's like, yeah, I am. And he pointed at his belly that is not big. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I need to chill how I'm talking in front of him. But also, fat isn't a bad word or a bad thing even. But he's not, you know. <laughs> he's not fat at all. Um, so, I don't know. I have just ranted and and talked. So, um. I'm going to end it here. I need to go. I need to go get them from school. Thank y'all for listening. And um, I'll check in some more later. <laughs> Bye. Say hi, Izzy. Hi. Say hi, Ricky. Hi. Say how you used to say it. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys.
Say hi guys, Izzy. Hi guys. You got anything else you want to say? No? Can you say happy Easter? Can no. You, no? Can you say happy yes. Easter? Yes, you can? Yes. Okay, say it. Happy Easter Day. <laughs> okay. Happy Easter Day. All right, good job. How old are you, Ricky? Four. How old are you, Izzy? <laughs> How old are you, Izzy? Mister. Mister, how old are you? <laughs> Get up, mister. <laughs> are you calling me a man? How old are you, Izzy? Three. Three, good job. Winston. What? <laughs> okay, bye, y'all. It's Brittany with Eating Elephants. Hi, or how the hell do I sign off? How do you? Hush! Oh my gosh. How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Bye!